Welcome gamers to another One Piece Battles video. So today we're gonna be showcasing the off my account. You know, we're starting off strong with Vic score at the moment. Yes, I've been grinding top 100. You know, I've been planning to make a comeback uh, to YouTube around this month. So, yeah, we started off with the, the Halloween characters, the the S bear and the other Uta. Yeah, let's just look at my prof. It's random. Like a, a lot of characters just you know put it together that I like. But the theme is sword, and Kalgara is just there because it's fun. So we got Miok uh, there on the left side, and then Rain in the center. We, we, it was Shanks there, but we moved him now. And we got, yeah, the East Blue Shanks. I mean, that's the moment many, many Shanks fans should have been born. Yeah. I, I wasn't, I was like, when I saw him Shanks, I didn't think, oh, he was this big OP character, but, you know, it turned out to be. Wow, what a show. But anyways, um, let us look at the characters we have. So we're going to be going down by other received. As you can see, the luck is crazy. We have like the S-Bear, Egghead, Luffy, you know, uh, most of the recent characters. But look at the luck characters. We're still missing 11 EXs, about um, 9 bounty vests, and like 2 step ups. Look at Venedic and there and Gun 4, still missing. But yeah, we've been using the bounty first shop. You can, as you can see, like some of the bounty first that I have, I don't have. They're almost unlockable. So that's something great about like the bounty shop. Like bounty first shop, it's something people will see. Oh, you're not free to play anymore when you do it, but it's worth it. Like as long as you grind the game, it gives you even an incentive like to play the game because you want to level up characters, you want to make them stronger, and everything like that. So yeah, we look at this, I got definitely having a lot of better characters, but still like missing with the EXs, like noticing with the, the red Yamato buff, I won't be able to enjoy that, the blue Kaido buff, I have him there, he's 4 star, so he should be fine. Then yeah, we got from the Shakes Max, I need to make his gameplay soon. Man, this guy, the story for him, it is like two years at the making why like, I couldn't get him when he released 2022 right I only got him this year at March and it was by you know serious luck like I got him but yeah we got him we enjoyed him like in the Dark Roger meta when he was first time it was you know a bit harsh but we had some you know fire there my other characters of course Roger Free Multi White Beard we got like you know, the gem summons yeah, we just keep summoning random bounty fest. We keep leveling them up with the BF shop and something. That's why a lot of them they're not maxed because I only got one copy and slowly went them to five star. But eventually, you know, this account will be maxed uh, fully, and yeah, it will be you know quite well. Like a lot of the characters, you know, are waiting for buffs or they're not they played anymore. Like looking at crack of the Alti. Sheik as well, like he got buff, but he needs another buff, of course. He's not like if Zoroja part is better, but he's not able to do well because the shotgun, like, too much comes out of it. And they ignore um, every types of obstacle. We got the Kobe there. So, as you can see, this is how you know I got the characters from the newest to the oldest across all the metas from 2024 to. This is about 2021 period. That uh, most time I was active in Bartrush for sure. And yeah, it's like I feel like it, it's a good account. Like uh, it shows that it's five years worth of work. I mean, when I'm like I have a free-to-play account right now. I don't know if I should showcase it in this video, but it's it's very hard. Like I can feel. What players are experiencing when they're fighting against us with 150% support, when they have that 140%, you know, mixed up tanks. It is like a, a real battle. Like, even if you have your, your EX character 6 star or something, your medals are good. If your support percentage is not high enough, you're just getting cooked, you know. That these are all the characters running them, you know, as slowly as I can so that you all can see it. Uh, these are the 11 characters, the 2 stars, 3 stars, who cares about them. As for my medals, I've been making some sets. Still have the old sets like the Red Element, Dofi, 
Still haven't finished this run on Kingdom 1. Still have this attack up that mom said. I don't use it that much often, but it had the most tags for a while. Like, uh, look at that. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. But the new event medal, the... Let's go see it right now. This one. Yeah, it also has 7 tags. It can pair well with, you know, other Egghead Luffy medals. You see? We have this one there. And we have this Luffy here. I think, yeah, this can do well. Look at that. Yeah, this only got six tags, but because it doesn't have the Luchi tag, but this is gonna be good, especially if they pair Imagine Big Mom and Kaido. Like, that's crazy to think about, but it is possible that they can do it. And yeah, let's just look at the other sets. Game 5 Luffy Metal set is still there. The Shallot family is like for blue element types. Animal Kingdom is like a general universal set. You can see the stats there. You look at that. So this is good, like for all characters. Cracker still has a set there, always ready to go. The Rumble Attackers, this is useful. Like not a lot of characters can get Rumble these days because everyone is not applying status effects, but the Jabberos, they can still get shot through their shield. Um, yeah, we still got the Triple Usa, Rumble Rumble Blackbeard, for whatever that is, but yeah, we're waiting for another Blackbeard. Hopefully this anniversary since the anime has taken a 6 months break, we'll see. Like, I'm not gonna predict the next EX like it's Blackbeard, no ways. It, it never is. We got that, the CP9, the boy said like, these medals took like, what feels like a lifetime to make. Even making like other new ones that we could make, but yeah, like the event medals. At least now there is a shop. Like if you are a dolphin or a goldfish, you can buy it. But I, I don't even uh, as me buying the party fish shop. I don't like use the metal rush shop that much unless there's a medal I really want. And then this one you saw it in the video, the Kuma PX one, the last video of course. Still haven't made the set for Odin. There's the Uta little set. Still haven't finished for Hori. And the Shanks one is almost done. Just need to tap, uh, get the top 100 for Green Shanks and get the Light Shanks so I can make the triple colored little set for Shanks. That would be nice. And Mihawk needs a third unit so he can also make three uh, metal sets for him as well. That's about it for the medals. Let me show like this. I want to show the medal points show. Oh wait, 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 wait. Like they're just relearning like a lot of old medals like... Like this is trash. Like look at the tags. Just maybe... The, oh man, Sky Island. Like come on. Like it has a good ability but it's not needed. Like no one's going to use it. Same with this. Uh, Shiroshi tag. I mean look at this. Just... Reverie, okay, well, come on. Like some good ones like this, Luchi Stampede, they're yeah, they're good, but I don't like them. But let's get back to, yeah, showcasing the last bit of my account, I think. Yeah, the records and, um, you know, my stats. Okay, the battle records, as you can see. I mean, if you have my ID, you could see all this all the time. So, yeah, we have a high score there, the best rate. I really want to get top one. I don't know. Like, it is possible on Steam because there's no hackers and there's no people are using a lot. But still, like, you really need to play like you're not human or you need to do like some. I'm not gonna say it for in the, uh, in the case for this video, but multiple sharing accounts. Oh, yeah. You can see, like, I focus on the 60 battle seconds, survival 100. I haven't cleared the solo missions yet, but I'll do it. I am not in a rush for those gems, to be honest. And then the titles, we can go through that. Yeah. Player rank in the middle next. The characters, this is what I want to. This would be a nice, fun OPBR challenge. You know, and even to continue YouTube, like, to max out all these medals. All of them. Uh, well, these titles. And get 100%. Like, I would need all the characters, of course, but this is possible. It's just that 
it needs uh, a lot of fun, maybe live streams in the future for sure. The status effect ones, I mean, this was impossible. Probably without uh, the lobby. But I think with the lobbies, this could be possible. Like, getting someone a bind victim, like, look at that with Hina. Yeah, we definitely you could do it. Maybe ask people to merge as you, give you some of that bind and get some free gems. <laughs> but that is, like, if you were matching randomly, that was almost impossible. Then we got the League Shizzles there. Yeah, I haven't got, I haven't grinded much, you know, top rank. Like, look at that. Like, when I make top ranks, I'm, like, out and down. Like, now I'm going to get that top 100. I'm done. For, like, seasons on season then. And then, yeah, there's some like, challenge battle, some top ranks there. It's taking some time to load. Look at that. And, yeah, rush battle. The Jugo and Moria one we just had. And, yeah, the Swordheads one was... Look at how much gems and titles it made, too. It was... It was good. The East Blue one was good as well. And then the boss battle, like Kaido, the one we had with uh, Tesoro and all of that. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, big one with Kaido. The CP9 boss battle was also nice. Like, it's the same thing, the same concept, but seeing different characters always makes it a bit special. I think I'm not forgetting anything, you know? Like, I could show you um, one other thing. Yeah, that I purchased the shop. Like, go. Oh, the characters I'm buying at the moment. Yeah, Uta there is next. I'm gonna get her gameplay out for sure. Very soon. Look at the characters I'm purchasing. That's so much play. Like, if you generate this, like, it's about maybe 50, 60 games a day, probably. I'm just estimating. But it's a lot of games. You have to be really. When you buy this, if you're not an active player, it's, it's a waste of money. For sure. Then yeah, we are just low on frags, of course, don't have much of them. Yeah, there's one last thing I want to show off. Yes, it's the shop. So for people who think I'm I'm waiting, they can see. Look at that. So many unopened tents. All empty. All empty. Look at that. So this account is made from pure luck and, you know, free-to-play stuff. Let's go. Even the the CP passes don't body in. <laughs> yeah, I'll look at all of this. This is the only thing I play. This is the best thing you could badge is like in the game. The rest, we'll get about. And I think, yeah, that's about it uh, for my account showcase. Let me know what you guys think about my account. Whether it's solid or not. Yeah, getting the 200 hyper boost is hard. Because you have to boost through a lot of step ups. And not bounty first, but a lot of step ups to get there. Probably eventually some bounty first, but it takes a lot of resources to get to boost for. I mean, you guys have seen the like 2750 black uh, ops like from the corner shop. Like I'm almost out of corn as well. The guy could show that. Like I've spent it on upgrading my support. Oh, well the last thing I needed to show is my support. Oh my gosh, I forgot about it. Look at that, 933 coins. My supports for red, blue, and green. To wrap this all up. Okay, yeah, that's my green support. We got these tags, looking good. And yeah, this is the CB support. Let me look at this. Yeah, my red support. We got, I think, another six tags. It looks good. We just need to work on some of these characters, but slowly and it'll surely get it there. You don't need to rush it. It's just patience, of course. And then, yeah, this is like my most proud support. I made 170% on this support. Look at how broken. Grand Life Zoro or Strong Heads. Atega. Oh, like Luchi. With this metal set, I will make a gameplay on him as well. He is a monster, for sure. Like, people are running Kaido set, but the Rumble set, I feel like it works much better than Like, because you can take digits from Chapra, Luchi, much more consistently than you being alone in a flame, an enemy flame with the Kaido set. 
Like even if you are not in the flag, they can't catch you. And then this is, yeah, my, I will make even a Eric Head Luffy gameplay. I got it recently. So that is good. Yeah, so you can see all my supports the red and green. That's about it. Yeah. So leave a like, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. You now finally saw my account. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I will see you guys in the next video.